Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 37 in Mapping Data Flow Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to concatenate data of multiple rows after grouping them using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see the requirement in details. So this is our input data set where we have multiple rows and the data is separated into two columns named as number and code. And you can see each of the numbers can have multiple codes. So for the number 100, we have three codes that is A, B and C. For number 200, we have two rows that is X and Y. So what we have to achieve is, so basically we have to group the data based on number column and the data transformation would be on top of the code column and the code column would be formatted from uh, being in multiple rows into single row and the data should be divided with the help of pipe delimiter okay so let's try to achieve this using mapping data flow let me jump on to the azure portal so in my storage account i have this container where this csv file retains and i will show you the data it looks similar to what we have seen in the ppt so let me open this so you can see we have five rows and uh, for the number 100 we have three set of codes and for the number 200 we have two set of codes that is x and y so let's jump on to creation of data flow so i have already turned on this data flow debug option so that we can preview the data during creation of the data flow okay so let me try to add source let me zoom it a little bit okay yeah so I have added the source transformation. Let me try to create a new data set pointing to the source file. So I will select the container which contains the CSV file and inside this root folder we have the data in concatdata.csv. So uh, the first row is in a header as you can see this is a header. So I will leave it as checked and let's import the schema as well. And let me hit on OK. And now if we try to preview the data here, let me hit on refresh and let's wait for the data to appear. Yeah, so the data is appearing now. It's the same data that we have seen. And now what we will do is we will group these uh, data based on the numbers. So we should be expecting only two rows based on grouping of the number column. Okay, so to group by, we will be using aggregate function. And here we get the option to group by based on the column that we need. So as discussed, we need to group by using the number column. And if we go to aggregates tab here, we can transform the existing column or we can create a new column. So here, what we will do is we will select code and we will modify the value present in the code column. So here we need to provide an expression that contains an aggregate function. So what are the aggregate functions? Functions like average or min or max or say first, last, these functions are called aggregate functions. So if we try to use any of these functions, then what will happen is, let me try to select max, and inside max, we will try to have code as the argument. So let me hit on save and finish. So if we preview the data, so what we are doing is, we are grouping based on the numbers, and, and then in the aggregate function, we have used max. So what it will do is, let me go here, so you can see, uh, it has grouped the data based on numbers so we are getting only two records now because we have two set of numbers one is 100 and one another one is 200 so it is grouped based on the number but and since we have taken the aggregate function as max it is just giving us the maximum of the code you can see alphabetically if we sort a b c the maximum values is c and in this group the maximum value is having y as the code okay so we can't go with any of these aggregate function because it will eliminate all the other options even if we go for min or average it will just take out one of the values in the group okay so what we will do is let me remove max function i was just showing how aggregate function works so now we will use collect function what it does it it collects all the data and aggregate it into an array so this is also an aggregate function and you can see it gives array as the output okay so let me click on collect and then we will send code inside collect as an argument and what it will do is it will convert the values into item of the array so you can see the output has arrived and in each of the group it has aggregated the data and it has accumulated it into an array okay 
so this is for 100 and this is for 200 you can see so it is basically in this format inside an array it is having a b and c similarly for 200 it is having an array x and y so now what we have to do is we have to convert it into this format a b and c okay so we have to concat the data like this and it should be separated by pipe delimiter so for that what we will do is we will use something called derived column transformation and here you can either modify the existing column or you can create a new column so we just have to uh, transform the data present in code column so we will write the logic to convert the items of array into the format that we want right let me show so from so we need to convert a b c which is part of an array into this format okay so for that i am going to use something called reduce function so what it does is it accumulates the elements of an array and reduce expects a reference to an accumulator and one element in the first expression function as hashtag accumulator and hashtag item and it expects the resulting value as hashtag results to be used in the second expression function so if you see the example so we have the input array as 1 2 3 4 and we are using the second argument as 0 and accumulator plus item is the third argument and the last argument is result where the output will be stored so it is converting the item of array into single uh, string but here you can see zero is coming at the first and then each of the elements are converted into the concatenated string okay so we will try to use this function let's copy the example and on top of this expression we will modify it and we will use our expression so instead of this array i will just remove this array which is hard coded we will just provide the array present in code column so here we are just directly giving this column name and we don't want zero to be coming as the prefix so i'm just removing it it will be blank and then accumulator plus item this is the default value and the result okay so let's try to see what is coming with the help of this expression then we will modify further okay so let's preview the data so you can see uh, this was the input which was present as an array and these were the items of array and now the output is coming like abc okay so now what we have to do is we have to add a pipe symbol right so what i will do is after each of the accumulator we will add a pipe symbol so here i will give single quotes and then plus okay and here we will add the pipe symbol so now if i hit on refresh let's see if it is giving expected result or not so you can see it has actually divided the uh, alphabet with pipe symbol but we are expecting in the starting it should not have any pipe symbol but it is coming as the output so what we will do is we will use something called l trim function so let me search here we will be getting something called l trim which will be trimming down the the string from the left side okay so you can see this example if we l trim on this particular string and we are trimming uh, the hyphen and exclamatory mark symbol then it is removing this symbol okay from the starting okay so this is how it will work let me try to use the l trim function so here i will just write l trim okay and what are we trimming on we are trimming on the pipe symbol from the starting so from the starting uh, from left side it will trim the pipe symbol and we will be expecting that the first pipe symbol would be removed so you can see the first delimiter that was the pipe symbol is removed because we have added l trim function here okay so this is what our expectation is let me hit on save and finish and let's try to preview the data and we will see so you can see the data is appearing and this is what our expectation was let's try to remove everything and you can see and this is the final output that is matching with our expected output okay
so now you can add a sync transformation and you can load it to a table or a csv based on your requirement so we have achieved this with the help of two transformations one is aggregate in order to group the number column and while grouping we have also used collect function in order to convert the rows into items of array and then we have used derived column transformation to convert the array into this format using reduce function so that's it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you